Suffering. It is our God-given right to expose our children to toxic fumes. We're making our children's lungs stronger. <laughs> That's you right. Wow, Ethan, great movie. Uh, we're getting now to the presidential primaries of between Trump and DeStinky. Ron DeStinky is heating up. And we are here for it. Trump is already kicking off his re-election campaign and bringing the heat to DeSantis. Let's see what he has to say. The governor, if it wasn't for me, and that's okay. Uh, and uh, he, number one, he wouldn't have gotten the nomination. And number two, he wouldn't have beaten uh, the de his Democrat opponent. Mm -hmm. So well, then when I hear he might run, you know, I consider that very disloyal, but it's not about loyalty, but to me it is. It's always about loyalty, but for a lot of people, it's not about loyalty. Are you surprised to see him? He's a mob. I love how, how mobster Trump is. It's awesome. Yeah, he's badass. Um, Ron DeStinky has nothing on him. Okay, I'll just say it. No, after no, seeing no. him just at the funeral, this. after seeing him at the Diamond funeral, like I was like, my man's kind of bad. He needs to. Yeah, he, he needs to come back and do more of that shit. Uh, straight up. As far as like Ron DeStinky, <laughs> when he talks about DeSantis and how like he almost lost to Andrew Gillum, it's true. Andrew Gillum was like the up and comer in the Democratic Party, uh, propped up by Obama himself, young uh, black man who then uh, uh, turned out to be a fan of doing meth with uh, gay prostitutes at the Fountain Blue. They all are, man. Which is all the which, best. By the are. way, I think is awesome. Okay, yeah. I don't have an issue with that. I'm I think thinking that I gotta him, try it because it I, sounds really fun. By how I many people are doing it? I think that makes him the perfect candidate for Florida. <laughs> right, He's just a man of the people. And also objectively, still more ethical than whatever the fuck uh, uh, Voldemort did before Ron DeSantis. Like human trafficking immigrants. Well, Ron DeSantis, oh, human trafficking Rick, immigrants. But I was talking about Rick yeah, Scott, yeah, Rick. who uh, you know did Medicare fraud. <laughs> so <laughs> we love that. But anyway, DeSantis is actually taking the bait now and responding to Trump. So things are heating up, my friends. This is what I'm living for. Um, I roll out of bed. I have people attacking me from all angles. It's been happening for many, many years. And if you look at the good thing about it, though, is like if you take a crisis situation like COVID, you know, the good thing about it is when you're an elected executive, you have to make all kinds of decisions. You've got to steer that ship. And the good thing is, is that the people are able to render a judgment on that, whether they reelect you or not. And I'm happy to say, you know, in my case, not only did we win reelection, we won with the highest percentage of the vote that any Republican governor candidate has. Dude, in the history. he just fucking torched him with that. Is Ron DeSantis, uh, has he spoken out about the election being uh, fixed? Uh, well, I mean, he did the election, uh, he did the the cops that like went into people's uh, houses and <laughs> no, like about the arrested them and stuff. Um, he has talked about it a little because bit it, when I, he was like riding for Trump. I just find it funny because he's Not like, "Oh yeah, I won by the biggest margin ever." Well, I was like, hmm, "Here's the vote the works there." Here's the thing about election fraud, and this is a point that I made many times over, and I think I need to make it again. It's not just Trump that has talked about election fraud. He's not the first, and he will certainly not be the last. Election, or not election fraud, voter fraud is a vehicle, is a propaganda piece that the Republican Party has used historically to undermine the integrity of elections so they can continue justifying voter suppression, like closing polls, uh, closing places uh, where there are, uh, you know, Closing polling stations in poorer neighborhoods, black and brown communities specifically, and also implementing like uh, signature verification processes or voter ID laws that also, again, disproportionately stop poorer people from going out to vote, making sure that voting is happening on a work day in the middle of the fucking day. Uh, you know, these are these are all many different ways in which uh, those in positions of power, whether it be Democrat or Republican, have tried to actively stop the working poor from going out and participating in uh, their civic duty. So they will continue to lie about it. It's not just about Trump. It's not the big lie that Trump promoted. I think the liberals uh, kind of fail uh, when they, when they uh, make this a Trump thing. But yeah.
Well, I digress. we don't have to worry about that because his new culture war is gas stoves, my friend. Yes. Which ironic because Florida, majority electric stoves. Florida does not have the same kind of gas infrastructure that California has. The 68% of the country uses electric stoves and the overwhelming majority of Florida already use electric stoves. They do not use gas stoves. He's just straight up doing this specifically because it's a culture war talking point. It's so fucking stupid. It's so insane how they construct <laughs> oh, these things. Like, they, they've created this fiction. I guess there was some research that showed that having gas stoves in your house can make the air really unhealthy. Yeah, and, especially for kids. And I don't particular. know why, like, why are they just figuring that out? Like, you have an open flame in your house. You're burning gas in your house. Why uh, from what I was reading, it's long been suspected, but it was just there was a, a, a large study that was just came out recently. And it was specifically about um, it being behind a lot of childhood asthma. That is very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's well, a lot of gases like not captured mm. adequately. Right. Um, well, so so anyway, they're they've created this fiction that now liberals are coming for their stoves. And uh, as silly as that sounds, that really is what they're saying. And then we just added, because I think it needs to be done, uh, no tax permanently on gas stoves. They want your gas stove, and we're not going to let that happen. And we're not even a state. The way Florida was built, a lot of this wasn't even connected to gas lines. You got they a lot want of your He's gas even acknowledging stove. It. He's acknowledging it. He's acknowledging it. <laughs> Yo, I just looked it up. It's even crazier than you said, Hassan. Uh, no, 68% of the entire country, overwhelming majority of Florida, though. 92%. Yeah. Electric stoves. Wait, in it's Florida. Just, it's just in California <laughs> where we have gas. California and other like uh, older, I guess like older cities that had gas lights, uh, oh, yeah. that had a pre-built infrastructure for gas, mm -hmm. basically kept using gas stoves. Mm -hmm. And most other uh, more recent developments, more recent like uh, uh, city developments, you just use electric. Wait, the, how do they heat their AC and shit? Electric? Electric? Yeah. What do you mean? AC is already electric. What are you talking uh, about? No, like, isn't our central AC, like, gas-powered? No. Yes, it is. AC It is burns gas. In California, yes. Yeah. Your water heater could either be electric or gas. Um, that's, okay, so... But the AC. Shouts out to, to uh, I think it's Climate Town, right? They did a really, really good video on this. Um, I wow. highly recommend you guys check them out. Uh, Climate Town talked about this disparity long time ago, as a matter of fact, before this culture war even heated up. Gas stoves are the entry point into using uh, natural gas as a, as a heating substitute. So, like, when, when, asked, uh, when you ask random people, like, if their home is, uh, if their home is powered by gas or electric... They have no idea, but the only place where they do have a preference or, <clears throat> or the only place where they do actually think about this is gas stoves versus electric stoves. Now, part of that is because electric stoves early on were not as powerful as gas stoves. It, I think, takes like four extra minutes to boil water on an electric stove in comparison to a gas stove, which is why the oil and gas industry dumped a lot of money into marketing for many, many years. The idea that uh, the, the, the colloquialism, cooking with gas, which is something that I use all the time, I'm sure you've used it before, that was literally a marketing technique by the oil and gas industry. How fucking crazy is that? That, is that it's been a, well, it's played such a fundamental role. Like that, that marketing technique has made its way into our language without us even recognizing it, and it plays a small, but still significant role in like people thinking that gas stoves are better than electric, and that's the only thing that uh, that consumers have a preference on. But of course, the the uh, the the oil and gas industry specifically want to maintain their profit margins, and they don't want to change the infrastructure because if the infrastructure is changed to focus on electricity, then all of a sudden they're gonna they're gonna lose a lot of revenue. I thought the gas was fine. I didn't think it was a big deal. Like the natural gas issue, I I thought it I, for, I, for a very I, I long time wrong. it was actually a cleaner alternative. It yes. burns pretty clean. We have a ton of it here in California. It's yeah. not that expensive because there's so much of it. So I I thought that it was actually like a relatively good thing we had going. But am I wrong? 
Should I be going electric on my stoves? Um, induction stoves induction. are better than electric. Um, from what I understand, they're they're actually literally better than gas as well. Well, what's better mean? Better as in like faster, heat up faster. And the only e- difference more is like you just need stuff. like a specific induction uh, wok, for example. Like you can't use right. the same I think, kinds of yeah. Uh, okay, interesting. Well, um, I am coming for their stoves. Uh, you hear me? But it's yeah, it's because ninety three percent of the people in Florida are not even using gas. It's such a, a stupid ass. <laughs> Fucking virtue signal. I, I'm looking at this. Yeah, I'm looking at this study, and <coughs> I think it actually is the highest of any state. Yeah, I love it's that. It's literally the highest. It's yeah. so easy for them to come out and be like, "Listen, I'm making the great sacrifice. We're yeah. not taxing the five gas stoves we've sold in the state." <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. no, it's just culture war shit, which is ironic though, because like a lot of places, a lot of places where conservatives live actually are like florida where the majority of uh majority of places use electric mm-hmm. which is why it's like this doesn't even impact them well i'm just I, advocating for like liberals to continue using gas i guess we're we're redoing our kitchen at my house and i was adamant about getting gas stoves they tried to get me on electric but you're I fucking gas. dupe dog they got, they you, fucking dude. got you i like cooking with gas baby that's but but see that's the point like if you know you, what was my concern what I was like I'm gonna get these electric burners and in five to ten years these things are gonna be fucking like broken as shit because you know with like tech and all that shit well, I mean your gas stove can break too and especially when your gas like stove gas stove lasts yeah, they, forever no they definitely break I have a gas stove in my house I guess and you're right the burner and it's a fucking up. yeah it's a melee one too and it's still fucking broken it breaks all the goddamn time everything breaks it's just everything is made to break but. Um, yeah, there is no, I, I don't, I don't think like gas stoves are particularly better. Nicole especially says less dangerous because if gas stoves break, you can fucking burn your house down. If electric stove breaks, I don't think you have. Yeah. Have That's problems. always been what's so interesting to me about in California in particular, having so much gas infrastructure and everything is that we get fucking earthquakes here. And when that happens, that's what starts like giant fires all over the place. I, rem- I, I remember my family had to. Uh, have you, like an emergency turnoff in the 94 uh, Northridge earthquake because it broke the gas line. Doesn't everybody have an emergency turnoff or is that a revelation after the Northridge earthquake? I was so young that I don't know. Like I, I know, just remember I, that being like a really scary thing that our family went through after that earthquake. Yeah. I know that like our house has an earthquake detector. Like an, or an automatic turnoff. will close it. Ours did not. Yeah, I guess maybe that's a new thing because yeah, since maybe. then I think... But yeah, I don't know. This uh, Nicole says that in, uh, conduction is expensive and requires special <laughs> cookware. But should I switch? Should I go? Uh, I don't. I mean, uh, there the IRA actually has a a uh, financial incentive <laughs> built into it. I'm pretty sure you can get like you get uh, subsidized. Really? Yeah. For, on the electric? For making a switch to uh, an electric stove. I think yeah. I already bought it. I think I might be fucked on that one. And there, aren't they mandating new buildings now in California? Like, I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't be surprised. At but least I'm for, not. I think oh. it's like, because I, I know there was like a controversy over it because a lot of um, restaurants, you know, cooks have their preferences and they're much more serious and, and dedicated to one side or the other. Even they, a lot of, no, it. but even a lot of fucking cooks have been paid for by... <laughs> really? Oil, yes. Oh, my so God. So there was a marketing <laughs> campaign on Instagram from, like, Instagram chefs. They specifically looked at, like, uh, different demographics on who is more likely to be duped by this, I guess, and they found out that, like, young Latinos, like, up-and-coming uh, Latinos were, were... It was way more effective. So they went after, like, uh, Latino uh, chefs on Instagram. So, uh, Climate Town details this perfectly. Like I said, highly recommend the channel. Highly recommend that video. They're brilliant. Um, but uh, they, they, they had like young Latino chefs. They were like, I prefer cooking with gas over electric <laughs> because it's much better. Like it's more authentic. Don't more chefs prefer gas though? That's real. There are a lot of chefs who still prefer gas. I think they, they like it old school. First of all, no one is a fucking real chef when we talk about this, so they don't they don't need the intricacies. But chefs there are chat. a lot of chefs who now also prefer uh, induction. So, hmm. right. Um, so yeah, well, like I said, I'm, well. I'm late on this. Electric discourse. used to electric yeah. stoves did used to suck. Like maybe they, they were inferior, yeah. but I think it, I think they've improved yeah, no, a lot. Yeah, no, that's, okay. that's okay. what. I'm, yeah, I I agree with that. 
I guess I'm uh, late to this convo. So here she is. I, I am a chef. I prefer gas for controllability. Induction is good, but gets too hot too fast I'm sometimes. And but uh, pole pan off induction stove, and the stove will be cold. Electric stays hot for too long. Hmm. Gas forever, bro. You do not t lay your fucking fingers on my gas stove. I mean, I, I'm I'm a dirty little gas stove <laughs> user. You know what I mean. But I am also a normal human being who has no preference or one over the other, and I don't think it will like genuinely impact my life. Also, as a homeowner, we're in a different uh, uh, situation than everyone else. Most people don't make these decisions. Their landlord makes these decisions. Right, yeah. It's I not going to change your fucking life. You know what I mean? I see lots of people riding for induction. Yeah. I do I've like heard that. It's really cool, too. I like that when you take the pan off, it's cold. And I mean, with someone with kids, that's like, right. you know, I don't, I, the stove is a scary thing. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool, actually. But the only, the, the only, purchase has been okay, made. The <sighs> only thing that the gas stove has over electric, which is why you will never pry it from my cold, dead hands, is that you, you can, can light your it. cigarettes on it, boy. Well, no, you can, you toss a tortilla on that bad boy all of oh, a sudden. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just crispy and like crispy exactly. fried tortilla. You ain't wrong, you ain't wrong. I mean, but that's, that, I do use it for that. Do, I do. Doomsday <laughs> preppers prefer gas. That's just given. Yeah. How you got, oh, 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 the apocalypse, how you gonna use induction then? Yeah, on. they also prefer like Iraqi dinar and shit, so I don't think they're making a lot of, I don't think they're making a lot of sense. They probably prefer propane, right? They, What's propane? Well, I, gasoline, yeah, yeah. my brother. Yeah. Yeehaw. Get some glizzies on the open flame. Man, <laughs> good one, man. And old day got another one, man. Tell you what, man. But go there. That dang gas and no freaking that out of grill. Don't have combs there all night. Can we come in my grill and tell me gas, man? Good. King of the Hill is coming back. I was about to say, yeah. It is new episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but back to Distinky here. Let's finish this. But it's just the principle of, you know, this is ridiculous that they and they do want to go. Oh, God damn it. After it, they got blowback, so they kind of had to back off. They want to go what after the gas stoves. About, and so we're ask. saying, you know, we want you to be able to buy those uh, uh, free of charge. To the five people, we want you to be. He's such a fucking <laughs> dumbass. It's so <laughs> transparent that they yeah. are like, that he's just trying to create a problem where no such problem exists, specifically for like the culture war narrative. But it's funny. It's funny that they're talking about this, okay? It's funny that they're talking about this <coughs> instead of, like, uh, talking about, you know, Joe Brandon's documents, right? Like, which, to me, immediately points to the reality, the grim reality that the Joe Biden document drama did not work at all. Didn't it didn't hit. enough. CNN's been talking about that shit way more than Fox News. I, all think, right. I think all the sales got sucked out of the document controversy because it was, like, you're finding out now that basically every president is just incompetent and has top secret documents laying yeah. around. <laughs> but also, like, they're col they're they're working with the authorities. Like that was the main difference between Trump and everyone else. Well, I thought that nuance would be lost on Fox News viewers, but apparently they don't care. Yeah, they just don't give a shit about document mishandling. Um, so this is all based on this New York Times headline: gas gas stoves are tied to health concerns. Here's how to lower your risk. This this is uh, the existential threat that uh, Ron DeSantis is worried about. A study published last year found that families who use gas stoves in homes with poor ventilation or without range hoods can blow past the national standard for safe hourly outdoor exposure to nitrogen oxides within just a few minutes. So, it makes uh, our child... It, and it has a likelihood to increase childhood asthma, the likelihood of uh, childhood asthma occurring. It is our God-given right to expose our children to toxic fumes. God damn it. Guess what? What's that? We're making our children's lungs stronger. <laughs> That's you right. Uh, herd immunity. I, I believe we need to go back to asbestos as well, and also lead chips in the paint of our children's toys. <laughs> that <laughs> made our children boy. more Hell dangerous. Yeah. I tell you what, boy. I, that's why I told my wife to drink when she's pregnant, because that's our child, and I we do what we want here. I says we gonna drink, and we gonna use gas, and with no, with the hood off, boy, because this hey, is America. Like, it's like circumcision, you know what I mean? You're 
Your pappy had it, so you need to have it too. Do you understand me? It's just like that. I have fetal alcohol syndrome, and so should my child. So we continue the goddamn. We continue the goddamn rich. My baby Amen. looked like a goddamn hammerhead shark. With, okay. With Amen. The fetal, the fetal alcohol syndrome is a trademark of yeah. our family how genetics. Else, how else are we gonna continue? Uh, 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 you know. Bro- breeding conservative generations, okay? Without them getting poisoned. That's right. Actually, early polls have a uh, tightening between Trump and DeSantis. But one thing I did want to help Trump out with is that his nicknames for Ron have been incredibly weak. So far. So far. Ron DeSanctimonious was just a disaster. Too, too much, too much, too mouthy. Well, we, we put together a lot of suggestions. Actually, we have a lot of suggestions for Trump. I like Ron DeStinky. That's the one you use. I'll rattle off a few. Ron D's Nuts. No. <laughs> Ron Dysfunctional. Good. Deep State DeSantis. I like that. That's a good one. That's powerful. Alliteration right? is always good. Deep state DeSantis. What about? He's working with the deep state. You got to say it in the Trump voice. Yeah. That one actually could actually, I feel like that one could hit him hard. Deep state yeah. DeSantis. Uh, wrong depression. So, uh, wrong DeSantis <laughs> is one that I've also come up with as well. I see this on the list. Uh, Wait, what? Did, you just said his name. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, wrong. Wrong DeSantis. Wrong. He's always Wrong. Another one is Wrong. Rhonda. So I, I, um, Wrong. another thing that Trump, another avenue that Trump can hit Ron DeSantis on, and this goes to the whole like the boots saga. Remember when he was wearing the boots and then Billy they like, boots, yeah. they, and then they memed it into like uh, wearing like these sexy ass thigh highs, you know? Silly Dude, boots, this, Ron. This silly this boots, Ron. <laughs> I'm looking at this picture yeah. I haven't seen in a minute. This is a fashion holocaust. Yeah, you could, you could like hit the angle of like Rhonda. He wants to be a woman. He's gay. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, that would definitely appeal to his audience. Like, he's so feminine. Rhonda, I call him. Little Rhonda. How about, um, uh, Ron, let's see. Wrong DeSantis when you said Rhonda Deceiver. <laughs> Ron DeSqu- Ron DeSquintus? Because he squints? That's yeah. a little over. Ron DeSquintus? I don't know. That doesn't hit. Like, I mean, he does yeah, squint a lot. Have you does. ever seen his eyes, folks? He doesn't yeah. have eyes. He doesn't have eyes. He's a reptile. Look what color are his eyes? Why are his eyes so closed all the time? Ron the shithead. Ron disgusting. Ron the Satan. Ron the Satanist? Yeah. Uh, Ron the Rousey? Decline. Ron <laughs> Ron right? Rousey is like a woman. <laughs> Ron Again. declining poll numbers. No, Ron demonic. Long. Ron Disgusting. Ooh, there's a good one in here that I hadn't thought about. Ron the Rhino. Yeah, yeah that's a good right? I like that. He's that a rhino, powerful. folks. Yeah. Ron the Single Ladies. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Ron the Size Queen. Wow. Ron the Portum. I think that's a that probably that's make a him plus. sound good. Yeah, yeah, he's not trying to yeah. he's not trying to glaze him. Ron Descended Stomach because he's fat. <laughs> Some of these are so bad. Ron Deteriorate. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ron Theft Auto DeSandrius? <laughs> De wow. San Andreas, dude. Yeah, yeah. Ron De No Riz. <laughs> Ron De No Riz. No. Actually, of all De these no ones, Riz, folks. if I'm being serious for a moment here... Please, I was never not serious. This is a very serious issue. <laughs> Wait. If Trump, if Trump wants to defeat Ron in the Republican primaries... Deep State Ron is the best one. Deep State Ron that is good. That one will destroy him. I think Little Ronda, he's so little, he's like a woman. <laughs> that one's good. Little Ronda. I don't know, like, I know that his voters don't care, but that one alienates some people. Deep State DeSantis is like, speaks yeah, straight but, like, to the you conspiratorial... Have to, but, but, I know, but like, you have Lizard to like... Brain. You have to find a reason why he's like pro deep state. You know what I mean? And uh, there isn't much because he does like he follows the Trump method really closely. So like mm. he's also portrayed himself as like anti deep state. Yeah, if you just lie, Trump will just make shit up. Yeah. Um. I mean, this is a careful one. This this is a delicate matter. Uh. And <laughs> well, if we've gone over these, you know, sure as hell, Trump's gone all over, all over these. Two. No, I think he's like he thinks he's so good, like he doesn't need to, but he does. So? Like you're not, 
Gotta this do the is homework. important. This is gonna yeah. be really important. For Trump, him. like with the NFT shit, like he is not as popping as he once was. Oh, Ron so, like, is Snorris. Ah. Oh. I think Ron the Stinky is good. Is you can also like do mm -hmm. some like ethnic uh, hatred there. You could be like, he's Italian, folks. He's <laughs> stinky. He's not showering. You know how Italians are, or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I lived in New York. I know how Italians are. Believe me, folks. Believe me, folks. Like that kind of thing, you know? Because <laughs> a lot of his, a, a lot of his no, audience, no, no. like a, a, a lot of his fans, like they. One, even if he shits on them directly, they love that. They're like, yeah, we are. We are stinky. You're right. You know? <laughs> and also, uh, if, you're, if you're in the South and you're, like, not Italian, you know what I mean? If you're, like, uh, Anglo-Saxon, uh, then you, you could maybe get into that, like, old uh, anti-Catholic anti sentiment. Mm. Mm, Ron you know? Dementia? Old school. Although Trump's way older, so that's not going to really work. Yeah. Well, there it is, Trump. If you are watching, and I... I know probably at least one of your dumbass sons is. Uh, maybe they could pass a couple of those suggestions on to you for well, our enjoyment. Junior's a longtime fan of this show. He, yeah, he watched yeah. this well on our first. That's episode. true. He, yep. He's been a he's been a first day. He's a I real leftover. Sure is. You have that. He's that? not a bandwagon fan. He's been Shout on board. Out to the Good luck with all of that leftovers. Leftovers. <laughs> Talk to you soon.